Scorpio, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also, keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Scorpio and the person Scorpio is connecting with or will be connecting with? All right, so we have trust. I feel like that's been broken here in this situation for whatever reason. We'll see. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And then we also have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, let's see where this is going. How does Scorpio currently view this relationship? Still keep in mind, Scorpio, that you may resonate more so with the person to the uh, right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. So just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Scorpio currently view this relationship? Okay. So we got a King of Wands here. Then we have the Page of Wands. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So a lot of fire here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Cups. Then we have a King of Pentacles. This is a whole new approach is what I'm getting. A whole new approach here. I do feel like... Um, this is somebody that um, you probably didn't have the best of relationship with, possibly. But with the Nine of Wands here, I feel like this is screaming trust issues on your behalf here. It's like this person um, that you're interacting with and or dealing with, uh, you, you find it very difficult to kind of trust this person. You might look at this person as a big flirt or just like a player, possibly. You just don't trust them, okay? But I feel like they're, they're, there's a whole new approach here, okay? I feel like this, this person's really approaching you uh, a whole lot differently now. And it's like you just can't help but to think about the person that you've been dealing with for all this time. And now they're kind of approaching you a whole lot differently now. And it's like you just don't really know how to respond or react to this whole new them um, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, this whole new them. It's like this person, I don't know what happened to this person. I'm not quite sure uh, what happened to this person. But I feel like in the past, between you and this person, you just found it very difficult for you to trust them. Very, very difficult for you to trust them. Um, and that's why you're kind of hesitating as far as pursuing anything with this person. Because again, I feel like you kind of looked at this person as somebody who's not to be trusted. You may have looked at this person as if they were like a big flirt or a player. Um, and you found it very difficult for you to like trust this person and fully embrace this connection with this person. But like I said, um, not sure what happened to them. I don't know. But it looks like this person is kind of choosing to approach you in a whole new manner. All right. And you're just like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can trust this. Didn't I say that in your last, right? I think that we spoke about this already, Scorpio. I believe it was you. I think we already talked about this. I'm not sure if it was you. Well, I don't know. We'll see. How does this person currently view this relationship with Scorpio? I don't know if this person has some sort of epiphany or what happened to this person, but it's like... Six of Swords, Aquarian Energy, Page of Swords, and then we have Justice. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles here. Uh, I kind of feel like this person, I feel like this has everything to do with like a split that took place between you and this person or a separation that took place between you and this person that kind of sparked this change within this person. Where they're starting to really look at the situation from a whole new perspective. Um, and it does kind of look like this person does want to come in and make things right between you and them this time around. Mm, but Scorpio's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh, really? Okay, sure, okay, I don't believe them. <laughs> uh, we'll see. How does Scorpio feel about this relationship? Yeah, don't believe them. Don't trust a word that they're saying. Yeah, you don't trust this person, man. You don't trust them. 
I feel like you want to, you want to believe what they're telling you. You want to believe that they're being sincere with you. You want to, but you don't, you don't, you don't trust it. Mm -hmm. You don't trust it. You don't, you don't trust this new them. You don't trust it. It's like in your eyes, right? It's like, if it sounds too good to be true, probably is. You don't trust it. You want to, but you don't. Sounds good. You're not convinced. Looks good. I'm not buying it. <laughs> How does this person feel about this relationship with Scorpio? You don't believe it. So it's like, you're like, mm, oh, oh, sounds nice. Oh, oh, okay. I feel like that's what you're doing. <laughs> we have the Six of Cups. So Scorpio energy, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo, Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like it kills them that they, there's no sort of exchange happening between you and them. They don't like it. They don't like it. Hmm. They're still clinging on to this, Scorpio. They're still clinging on to this relationship. They're still clinging on to you. They still want you. But you don't believe them. You don't believe them. You don't believe them. It's like, it sounds good, it looks good, and you want to give in, but then it's like you stop yourself like mm, no i don't think so i don't think so it's like you're looking at this person like they're up to oh look at that yeah you will you're looking at this person like they're up to something like they're up to no good it's like hmm all of a sudden they just kind of reappear in my life wanting to kind of make things right with me now there's this whole new approach it doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. I don't trust it. I don't trust it because you feel like they're up to something. Look at that. The devil and the eight of cups. You feel like they're up to something. You feel like this person's up to no good and you don't trust it. Again, you want to believe, right, that this person really does want to do right by you and this connection with you. And they do want to, like, you know, come in and, and really start over with you. And you want to believe it. But it's like you can't help but to, like, feel like, this person's up to no good. And again, it just, it really kills them that they're not having this exchange of energy with you anymore. Uh, what actions will Scorpio take towards this person are moving forward? Yeah, you got to see it to believe it. You got to see it to believe it. And I'm not mad at that. That's pretty much how, how you plan on moving forward. You're going to sit back and just watch the show. You got to see it to believe it. You got to see it to believe it. Like if this person really does want you and this relationship with you and they don't want to let you go and they honestly want to do right by you you got to see it to believe it because right now you're not convinced you're not convinced so you're just going to kind of sit back and watch the show my friend what actions will this person take towards scorpio or moving forward King of Cups. Hangman. Seven of Swords. <sighs> okay, things just got stagnant real quick. Uh, between you and this person. All right. Uh, this person's a little stuck. They need some time to really process how they plan on pulling this off here. Because again, it's like... I feel like this person tried at some point to come in and do the right thing. And it kind of looks like that didn't necessarily work out. But again, it's like the way that you're kind of approaching the situation. I need to see it to believe it. I need to see it to believe it. I need to see it to believe it. Because you don't trust this person. It's like this person really needs to build towards 
uh, your trust all over again. And with the hangman being here, they know that. They know that. They know that. They know. They know that how they were handling the situation between you and them in the past was not acceptable. And they know that. So they know what they have to do here moving forward as far as like showing you that there's someone that you can trust because I feel like they know that they broke your trust. I feel like they know that. And again, moving forward, they're, they're trying to really keep the hope and the faith here when it comes down to like moving forward with you guys, but they also know that they kind of have their work cut out for them at the same time because it's like, this is not going to be an overnight thing where you're just going to let them back into your life. And not, I, I don't see that happening. I feel like this person might express to you that they want you to trust them all over again. And that they might even tell you that they understand that they have to work towards your trust all over again. They might communicate that to you. But they also know that it's going to take a lot more than just words coming out this person's mouth. You know what I'm saying? And they know that. They know that. But again, to you, sounds good. Looks great. But you're still not going for it. Strength, you're still not going for it. Because again, to you, everything sounds good and it looks good to you. But with strength here, this is you kind of pulling back here. This is you kind of taming yourself from essentially falling for it, is what I would say. Tell me more about strength. This person may have a way with words, but again, it's like you're taming yourself because you don't want to let this person back in just like nothing. You don't because you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen if you do, Scorpio. You know if you allow this person to just come right back on into your life like nothing ever happened. You know what that's going to do to you. You're going to start to question them. Then you're going to start to question yourself, you know. And so that's why you're choosing to kind of take a step back and watch the show. I got to see it to believe it. You need to kind of regain my trust here. But I'm not going to move until you show me that you're absolutely serious this time around. Because you know, you know what's going to happen if you allow this person to just walk right back into your life. Like nothing ever happened. And what it's going to do to you. And that's why you're taming yourself. That's why you're stopping yourself from just welcoming welcoming this person with open arms, essentially. Because you know. You know how that's going to affect you. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. They know, man. They know. They know. They know they made a mistake. They know that they made a mistake. Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles. They know that they made a mistake here. As far as possibly self-sabotaging this relationship is concerned. And of course, nobody in this life is perfect, right? We're all living a human experience, not justifying their action or anything like that. But they know. You don't have to tell them. They know what they have to do. High Priestess, they know what they have to do in order to pursue and obtain a brand new beginning with you. They know. You don't have to tell them. They know. I feel like they regret whatever they did, though. I do. Because it, it caused you to not only not trust them anymore, but it also caused you to essentially walk away, which is not something that they, they initially wanted to kind of happen. But I feel like this is them just kind of reflecting on essentially, like, their behavior. Um... They're going to express all of this to you, like I said, but you're going to need to tame yourself because if you just let this person back into your life, like nothing ever happened, it's going to mess with your head because then you're going to start to question yourself. Like, did I make the right decision by just allowing this person to come back into my life after everything that happened? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, tame yourself, sit back, watch the show. This person needs to prove themselves to you. Or you need to prove yourself to them, however it resonates, right? It can go either which way. It can totally be vice versa here. Any advice for Scorpio in regards to this spread?
Yeah. Deception and wedding. This, they, they betrayed your trust. As simple as I can put it. And they know that they need to work towards rebuilding your trust. They know. They know what they have to do. They know what they have to do. So, hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. Ooh, or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.